speech. Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. <laughs> I don't think you can prove those numbers one way or the other. There's no way to really... Just say this, Jake, and I, I, you know, I don't mean to be disrespectful. This guy is a fraud. This guy ran for president of the United States saying, all right, Donald Trump, I'm going to take on Wall Street. These guys are getting away with murder. And suddenly he appoints all these billionaires. His major financial advisor comes from Goldman Sachs, and now he's going to dismantle legislation that protects consumers. This is a guy who ran for president saying, I am going, I'm the only Republican. I'm not going to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. And then he appoints all of these guys who are precisely going to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. So I hope that all of those folks who voted for Mr. Trump because he thought that he would stand up for working people, man, uh, this guy is, you know, he was a good of this country. And that business on Wall Street, he told us, in fact, it's in the Republican platform, he's going to bring back Glass-Steagall. We're going to be dividing up commercial banks from investor banks from insurance companies. Then he has all of the big Wall Street guys on his side, and now he's working for Wall Street.